Country Fried Goth here. It is spring break and I should have been working but I just needed a break period. So this has been me for the past like four days. <laughs> um, I haven't put makeup on. I've literally just like gotten up, done yoga, showered, and then like put different pajamas on because I'm not freaking going anywhere, so whatever. And I didn't plan on doing any vlogs over spring break because like I wasn't going anywhere, but literally everything came in the mail at once. I have three packages from Amazon right beside me and I, I ordered just like a crap ton of stuff. Um, I don't even remember what all I ordered. Okay, this first one, Ooh, I know what this one is. Okay, so this one is actually from Ill Will Press, which again is the guy that does like Foamy the Squirrel, Jim or Jonathan Ian Mathers, Mathers, however the hell you say his name. Um, the last thing that I got from him was the tank tops that I ordered, and I thought it was really weird because I ordered what I'm what God damn it! I ordered well, I'm about to show you guys before I ordered the tank tops, and I thought it was really weird that the tank tops came in first, but whatever. So this, oh man, oh man. Ooh, I got a collector's card. I got Pillsy. Look at that. Pillsy. Okay. And on the back, it's got like, Pillsy the Squirrel. Pillsy was discovered in one of Jermaine's pill bottles after having a prescription filled at a shady New York pharmacy. And it's just got like, fun facts. Um, Pillsy has ongoing conversations in his head with an imaginary friend named Donut Bob, an evil donut-like creature that tells him to do odd things. <laughs> and there's just like a bunch of stuff like that on the back. And then I got this thank you thing and then on the back it says your purchase has directly helped the creator of the cult web to neurotically yours continue his creative work for that a hearty thank you for your support foamy be with you jim illwillpress.com <laughs> and then i got this little like card which you give to like pass out to people to like check out um it will press and like his youtube channel and all that kind of stuff let the, let the squirrels rule us with logic. Okay, so there's that little fun stuff. And then, um, oh, I just dropped one. Okay, I'm gonna give this to Danielle whenever she comes home. But I got her this because she fucking loves Pillsy. So there he is peeking out of a pocket. And my shirt, which was a limited edition because I secretly am Jermaine. Oh, fuck, okay. So there's that. I'm kind of holding it over my face so you guys can see like the whole thing. Okay, so there's that. If you guys, in my last video, I put a link to all of Jim's like social stuff. If you haven't checked it out yet, you really freaking should. And whenever I try explaining it to people, they're like, it's a cartoon about an insane squirrel. And I'm like, yes, like that's the best way to describe it. But you, you just have to watch it. Okay, and then this one, It just says Amazon Fulfillment Service. So this could be literally anything. Okay. Oh! Ha! Okay. So, the summer coming around the corner and being the extra bitch I am, I ordered a parasol, but it hasn't come in yet. <laughs> so I got this. <laughs> yes. This will look really nice with, with my parasol. Like, it was really weird because, like, Amazon had, like, it was under wedding stuff. And they had, like, sets of like parasols and fans but they were all in collar and I wanted black so yeah so I had to buy them separately but whatever the other thing that's in here is this gothic charm school book by Jillian Venters um I was catching up on um excuse me I was catching up on cemetery confessions there was a podcast um, where he talked about like books and literature and all that kind of stuff that like needed to be checked out. And I've had this list on notes on my Mac for like fucking ever. So I'm like, okay, well, might as well just look into it. I have a library card, right? Okay, and the whole reason I got it is because like, I'd go to Barnes and Noble whenever Danielle and I would go to like Indy or Evansville or wherever. And I would spend like $100 on books and then they just sit there and then I don't read them. <laughs> but I'm trying to get better about doing that. And I'm like, you know what? I should just get a library card because that'll save me money. I won't buy books and everything. But then I realized 
that the whole reason why I buy the books is because it takes me like a month to read one book just because I am so busy and I have like I don't have like a bunch of late fees at the library but I've had my library card for like three or four months and there has not been a single book I have checked out that I have turned in on time. <laughs> so I am just going back to buying books. I've been trying to find this book for freaking ever and I wanted to avoid buying it because I'm like, no, that's a waste of money. But then like my library doesn't have it because fuck goth people apparently. I have one more package left. I don't know what it is, but I'm really excited to see what it is. I feel like this is also books. This one is from Banff Enterprises, yes. Badass motherfucker enterprises. Okay. Ooh, yes. Okay, so here is another book that I ordered called The Goth Bible. And this is by Nancy Kilpatrick. Yeah, that was just a nice little like opening mail thing. Um, <laughs> I, I went to go check the mail and then like I, I had been expecting packages but I didn't know when they were gonna come because um, I don't think I think the one that was the um, the gothic charm school I know was like prime eligible but I didn't think the goth bible one was so that came really freaking quickly but anyway things I have been up to so Danielle and I have decided that we are for sure gonna start streaming on twitch it'll probably be on Thursdays because she works like such long days that she typically always has Friday off unless there's like an emergency or something weird happens and she has to work Friday. Um, so Thursday would be the best night for us to stream. So we're going to have Gaming Tuesdays and then Gaming Thursdays on Twitch. Um, the kind of games that we'll most likely be streaming are like um, Rayman, Crash Bandicoot, um, Life is Strange, um, all that kind of stuff. So be on the lookout for that. I have been working, I have been trying to get freaking layouts and themes for Twitch since like three months ago. <laughs> but the thing is, um, Streamlabs, like I have a Streamlabs account, but I want my, I want it to look like pretty and everything. And they have, um, OBS, which I don't know how to work. And then they have like Streamlabs OBS or something like that. And it's in beta and the Streamlabs OBS is the one that has like all of your um, like layouts and overlays and all that kind of stuff. But it's only in beta for Windows and we are an Apple household. So I'm just like, great. So I have been scouring the internet looking for like tutorials and all these different things on how to like make your own Twitch layouts. So <laughs> I have been very, very busy. And yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm up to. Um, Patreon. Okay, so I had somebody message me on my Instagram and they asked if I had a Patreon. And I do have one, but I don't have it set up for donations. Um, for those of you who don't know, Patreon is a website where you can like be a patron of your favorite creators and you can donate as little as a dollar a month to them. And um, like, for example, I am a patron of Cemetery Confessions and... Toxic Tears, Jake Monroe, Metal Ass Gaming, and um, Jim Ill Will Press guy. Now, whenever I first started my YouTube channel, I did have a Patreon just because um, things were really, really hard. I had been in the full time workforce for so long after I got my associate's degree that I had forgotten what it's like to live on only like $150 every week. And I kind of like had to retrain myself on how to do that, which like now it's different because like I live with Danielle and we have like our own stuff going on in our own little world. So like whenever I was working part time, I was living with my mom or I was living with my dad. You know, I didn't have my own phone bill and my own car insurance and all that kind of stuff going on. So it was a little bit different, but I have learned how to like manage my money better. But then I realized, I'm like, if I do start having people like donate this money to me, I'm gonna have to make extra time to like do these rewards. And it's not that like I'm being stuck up and being like, oh, I don't have time for you guys. It's just, I literally don't because Monday through Friday, I'm at school. I work every weekend. I took it off to where like people can't be a patron of me, but I can be a patron of other creators. So like you can't donate money to me. Um, it's not that I think Patreon is a bad thing because like people who do like YouTube and Twitch and all that kind of stuff professionally, like it's hard, especially with all like the adpocalypse bullshit that happened and all this other stuff. So like it's hard, but um, another reason why I took that off is because the way I see it, I am fortunate enough to have like 
a job even though like it it's shit and I hate it you know I do have another source of income so I didn't really see the need to have people like donate to me for creating because like this is just kind of something I do as a hobby like I love making music I love making videos but it's just it's so hard to find the time and I don't want to let people down or have them get angry because like hey I donated five dollars and where's the hangout twitch stream Q&A thing that you were gonna do so for the time being I don't have a patreon but I'm sure if you go on to patreon.com you'll probably find like your favorite vlogger twitch streamer artist musician like they're all on there <laughs> Oh, um, the gaming videos. Okay, so, um, I don't know exactly when I'm gonna upload this. It'll probably be before the next Gaming Tuesday episode is supposed to go up. Um, <laughs> something really, really bad happened. Okay, so, um, my Mac, because I have so many freaking programs and shit on it, um, I had to put all of the Until Dawn files because whenever, um, I edit it, there's three files. There's the video of Danielle and I, there's the video of the game, and then there's the audio from like the microphone setup that we have. And so there's three files and I have to like edit them all together and everything else. Well, I had the first two like episodes worth of files on my Mac, so everything was fine. And then I went to go edit, so the next one would have been like four and five and so on and so forth. Well, they were all corrupted. Every single one of them. I don't know what happened, but we had them all on the external hard drive, plugged it into my Mac, and then there was only like two video files, and I didn't have any of them labeled. Like there for a while, because like the way our game capture is, is like you can record like up to 15 minutes is what the little booklet it came with says of 1080p quality, and that's what we want. So like, yes, it's annoying you don't know, happen to only record 15 minutes and happen to get up, stop it, do the thing and then like start recording again but we want you guys to have like the best quality video that we can so it's worth it but anyway so um i was like trying to get all this stuff together and i was trying to like label them as we put them on the hard drive so um something happened oh there was an episode where like like our game capture device like you plug in a um flash drive and then it records to the flash drive so the camera died the flash drive got full and then I forgot to hit record for the audio so everything was just a huge dumpster fire and um, after that like I stopped labeling the different files because it used to be you know like until dawn episode 4 video, uh, game capture until dawn episode 4 video until dawn episode 4 audio well I stopped doing that and so the only ones that were savable were the ones that weren't labeled. So I had no idea what was what and um, everything else was corrupted. I tried like clicking on it and like dragging it over to my Mac and it was just like, oh, nope, sorry, this is broken. And I'm just like, well, great. So long story short, um, I don't know if there's going to be a Gaming Tuesday episode this week. Sorry, my leg itches. Just because of the file situation and what all happened. Um, we have been meaning to like re-record it. Um, but the thing is like we don't remember like where we left off and what I was trying to do was because like it's broken up like into chapters the game is and I was trying to edit it to where like it would be like one chapter done per video but everything died so <laughs> that's pretty much um, all of this this turned into quite a little rambly thing um, I just figured you guys want to watch me open my mail again <laughs> If you guys have another game that you want to see us play, um, comment down below, let us know anything that you think we would like and we'll let you know if we have it and if not then we'll like check out the reviews and look into buying it. That way you guys can see us play it on Gaming Tuesday <laughs> because it will happen. So yeah, that's it for this rambly vlog. So just remember that it's free to be nice and don't be a dick. <laughs> Bye guys. Like I really need, excuse me while I pick up my eye. I haven't been up for very long. Like I woke up and I'm like, okay, coffee and do things. Um, but anyway, 